Hello folks, it's Professor Fiore, and it's time for a little more embedded programming using C and Arduino. What we're going to do in this video is a little quiz self-test. Here's a program. There are errors in it. What you should do is pause the video and see how many errors you can find. Okay, I'm going to go and look at some of them right now. So if you didn't pause the video, err. First, let's start off with missing or extra semicolons. We don't just put semicolons everywhere. They're at end of specific statements. We need one in this declaration. This, by the way, is a global. Okay, it's outside of these functions. Need one there. Don't need one here. The braces basically open and close the function, so that's out. All right. Continue on down on this assignment. We need one. That's fine. That's fine. Don't need one here. Same deal. That's a function. Need one here. All right. So we got those. What else do we see? This is an array. This is a string array. Wombat needs to be in quotes. Okay. What about these printfs? Let's see. We have type match percent %d. Ooh, double float. What the heck is that? It's either a double or a float. It's one or the other, but you know what? D is for decimal integers. So that's not going to cut it for there. Um, I've got pet, which is a a string, or, string array, that should be percent %s. All right, then uh, percent %d pancakes. Oh, what's that? i. i is an integer. Okay, that's fine. So you're going to send glarg off here. You know what? We don't have a prototype. I don't know what glarg is yet. Well, here's glarg. What's it take? Well, some kind of variable. Uh, we need a variable name right there. What kind of variable is x? So it can do type checking, right? We're sending it a double, well, a double or a float, whatever we decide on. And this would need to have a declaration in there, all right? And we call the power function. Hey, I think we're missing a header file. Math.h, that's right. Okay, come down. Got a similar problem over here with these d's. x and z are both doubles. I'll assume it's a double coming in. So we need percent %f's in here. Okay, similar issue down here. Is there a question with this d versus this d versus that d? I'll let you think about that for a sec. All right, seconds up. What'd you think? Well, here comes the real deal. That is what our program should do, right? or what it should look like, rather. Um, I have simply declared D as a double over here, so the declaration for glarg is also a double, 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 double. Notice the F in here, okay? The S and the D, as I said before, um, should be okay. Let's try and uh, execute. We've got a complete failure. Oh, of course we do. I forgot to comment out this thing. All right, for fun, let's see what actually goes wrong here if we try to compile this. Well, a whole bunch of stuff. Complete failure. Now, we're going to see a lot of these. I'm going to lift this guy back up. There's a bunch of things wrong here. So, where do we begin? Well, don't start at the bottom because we could have cascading errors. An error one place could cause an error later. So always start at the top, right? Syntax error, expected semicolon, but found int. That's right here. Expected the semicolon, found int, right? That was the first thing. Now, once that happens, everything else goes crazy. I mean, who knows what happens? Some of these might be okay, you know, invalid declaration combination of double and float. Sure, okay, great. So, where do the Y's is? 
Don't start at the bottom. Go to the top. So here's our fixed thing. And let's compile. Let's see what we got. My wombat likes two pancakes for breakfast. Two cubed is eight. Also, 5.1. Five, not a, two cubed is also 5.1, but remember what happens. This global is the only D no down, known down in Glarg. However, this D, the local, takes precedence over the global inside Maine. So um, this this D and this D are two different Ds, right? Like you can have uh, two friends named Marky. There you go. Okay. Hope you did well in that little quiz.